it's your boy, Evil Platypus. If you guys are watching this, chances are you guys love Fortnite. If so, you've come to a great video because today I'm going to be talking about some ideas that I've had that I would love to see added into the game at some point in the future as I think they would add a lot to the game and make it better and more enjoyable in the long run. What you guys are hearing right now is actually a pre-recorded video I recorded using my phone and am currently playing directly next to my PlayStation camera over some live gameplay. Now usually I would try commentating while playing but it's pretty hard for me to focus on talking and surviving simultaneously so I figured I'd do it this way so that I can focus completely on the gameplay while still getting the commentary out for you guys without all the pauses and stuttering. This is possibly going to take a while, as I will not only need to survive an entire game while the video is actually playing, but I also need to make the gameplay entertaining. So if you're hearing this, realize that the gameplay might have taken me forever to get. And if the gameplay isn't all that exciting or I don't get a lot of kills in it, just know that it's because I had done this far too many times to count and I didn't want to go any longer and I just used the best version that I previously had. Keep in mind, I am not going to be criticizing anything about the game in this video, just simply offering some ideas that they could implement. Anything ranging from new weapons to new areas to visit, and so, so much more. If you like any of my ideas, think that they're completely stupid, or could simply use some tweaking to make them better, then let me know in the comments below. So, to kick off this list, I'm going to talk about a couple weapon ideas I've had that I think would really spice up the late game, or early game respectively. First up is any LMG. This seems like a pretty obvious one to start with, honestly. I mean, we've already had pistols, shotguns, SMG snipers, assault rifles, and various forms of explosives. But in order to complete the list, we need an LMG. It would be the single most rarest gun in the game, and it would only come in the form of an epic. It would have a large ammo clip, about 50 bullets, and would deal a Decent amount of damage, clocking in at 35 health a bullet in the body and 70 in the head. It would also have FMJ, which would allow it to take down walls and buildings much faster than it does with humans. Sounds pretty overpowered so far, but something this good has to have some drawbacks, naturally. Well, for starters, it would have a very slowly reload time clocking in at 10 seconds, much like the med kit or reviving a teammate. So you would have to know that you're safe in order to risk a reload. It also has a very slow rate of fire as well. For any of you familiar with Call of Duty out there, it would fire at about half the speed of a base Gorgon in Black Ops 3, which is criticized as one of, if not the all-time slowest LMG in COD history. It would also have a very slow movement speed, forcing you to hold literally anything else so that you can run from place to place and either avoid enemies or the oncoming storm, making it really only feasible in the late game. Lastly, it would use the same ammo as snipers, making ammo not only hard to come by, but forcing you to choose between the LMG itself or a sniper. Of all the things on this list, this is easily the most overpowered, but I feel as though the drawbacks balance it out well enough. But that's up for you guys to decide. Do you think that this is too much or just right? Moving right along to my next idea, which won't take nearly as long as the previous one did, is a fully auto pistol. It would complement the suppressed pistol that we just got, as well as the pistols we've had at the beginning of the game, and the magnum or revolver. It would have an extremely high rate of fire, being equal to that of the tactical submachine gun firing at 10 bullets a second, but would only have a 20 bullet ammo clip as well as a low damage count, gauging at around 18 damage of health 
in the body and 36 in the head in its most powerful form being that of a blue rare. It would kind of be an ammo waster but be deadly at close range which is why it's definitely good for early gameplay if you can manage to find anything out. Next up, I have some ideas for some equipment that would be very interesting and make gameplay very fascinating as well, if not a bit rage inducing. I'll start with my personal favorite of the two, which I call the randomizer. This is a piece of equipment that can either bless you or curse you. It can do pretty much anything aside from trapping you in the stone, but we'll touch up on that in a second. When you use this, as previously stated, it can do just about anything. And it's actually quite similar to the QEDs in Call of Duty's Black Ops 1 zombie map, Moon. It can spawn a random weapon in front of you, anything from a common pistol being the most naturally received, or very rarely gift you an epic scar. It can also give you spare ammunition or building materials of various quantities, depending on the item it gives you. For example, rocket launchers and heavy ammo won't give you nearly as much as light ammo or wood would give you. Lastly, as we briefly touched upon already, it can actually teleport you anywhere inside the current safe zone, including the edge of the storm as it's moving, inside of an enemy base, or simply a few feet away from your current position. Just about anything can happen when using this, aside from instantly killing players or teleporting you directly inside the storm. The other idea I have for some equipment is definitely the more rage-inducing of the two, and probably the one people are going to be the most against. Basically, what you have is a grenade that when thrown will turn you and enemy people around you invisible for t about 5 to 10 seconds, which will either help you kill an enemy, heal up quickly, or run away from an approaching group of enemies. It would be have a highly distinguishable sound though, so enemies can still be alert and build a quick fort if deemed necessary. I also have two insane limited time game modes that I think would be just absolutely amazing. Fortnite's previous game modes have been pretty hit and miss with a lot of people either claiming their hatred for the 50v50 high explosives or sneaky silencers, while others absolutely adore them. I think that these two ideas that I've come up with will have a majority of players not only enjoying them, but praying that it can become a permanent staple in the game's future, right alongside solos, duos, and squads. The first one up is called Chaos. This mode, much like the name implies, is just chaos. The standard 100 people in a match. No duos or squads, just straight up free fall with everyone trying to survive on the tiny island you're on right before a normal match begins. You know, the place where you socialize through emotes and dancing and can deal damage to enemies when you shoot them? Well, now not only can you damage them, but the building and scenery are actually breakable as well. Those items on the ground that everyone is always making a mad dash for have extremely increased drop rates and appear just about everywhere. However, there are absolutely no chests. It's literally everyone just trying to scrape by with limited resources and no teammates on a tiny island. Chaos. My next idea is pretty much the exact opposite of that one and is appropriately called Chests Everywhere. A game mode where every single possible chest location has a chest spawned in and every ammo case is also spawned in, but there are no item drops anywhere else to speak of. It's a battle for whoever can be the first to get a weapon from those highly coveted chests. Sp supply drop spawn rates are doubled as well. This would make for intense firefights at the, right at the beginning of the game and would showcase people's ability to strategize as they will have limited ammo and supplies when fighting against other teams who also have limited ammo and supplies. Pushing on through these ideas, I'll be talking about 30 new areas to land. Three new areas to land. Everyone loves Pleasant Park, Retail World, and Salty Springs, sure, but now we'll have three new locations to either land at or visit. Bloody Beach. Imagine if there was a place on the map, on the edge, that wasn't hundreds of feet above the deadly waters below, 
but a beach that connects to the ocean. Somewhere between Pleasant Park and Greasy Grove, as that area of the map really has nothing going for it. There could be a huge pavilion where people can sit roadside to eat, a check-in station with restrooms, as well as a lifeguard tower, all of which have chess locations. You can also go several feet into the water, but it's blocked off by random debris, so you can't explore too far. Concealed Cave Everyone knows Loot Lake. Well, now there's a hidden area underneath the island of with the house that you would have to either enter through the waterfall to get to, but be careful of going this way as the dam the waterfall will actually damage you due to how fast the water is actually falling. Or by breaking through a floorboard underneath the house where that one chest is to reveal a hidden staircase. Several chest locations can be found here, but it's extremely tight quarters, so make sure you have a shotgun before entering its depths. Massacre Mansion. The final idea on this list belongs to Massacre Mansion, an extremely large mansion located in the area between Pleasant Park, Greasy Grove, and Loot Lake. Cause let's be serious, that place is as barren as a desert and could really use some more scenery beyond the mountainous terrain. Naturally, many chests are lurking inside, but being a building, it's close quarters, so be wary of enemy movement. Those are all of my ideas. What did you think? Did I have some good ones or were they all pretty stupid? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below and let's get a discussion started. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. Like the video or dislike. It makes no difference to me. Leave a comment down below suggesting anything you guys want to see me do in the future. Whether it's a video game challenge, a real life challenge, a vlog where I talk about stuff like this or just random stupid shit. Or a cutcom video where I talk about real life events going on right now. You guys ask for it and I will most likely do it. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to my Discord so you guys can talk, talk to me whenever I'm not streaming. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>